okay so good morning everyone so today also we are going to make a practice of solving or how to find out the tachymetric constants okay so i think my voice is clearly audible okay so likewise the aim of corresponding first practice is nothing but here to determine the tachymetric constants or which are also called as steadia constants that is k and c okay or f upon i which is nothing but k only which is multiplying constant and c is the additive constant which we call it as f plus t okay so what we are going to do on the field practically okay so just i'll take this sketch okay so on the field you are going to keep your tachymeter okay at o position okay do the all the temporary adjustment level it center it okay mark the positions of staff a b and c at a distance of correspondingly equals to 10 meters here equal to 20 meters and d3 is equal to 30 meters okay so again bisect the stuff at a so that correspondingly you are supposed to get the top and bottom cross hair reading okay that is lower and upper stadia hair readings okay so suppose i am getting the bottom stuff reading here equals to 0.1 and here it is 0.2 okay similarly suppose i am getting reading here as 0.45 and here it is 0.65 on the top Similarly, suppose I am getting at the staff C reading equals to 0 0.7. Uh, okay, 7.0, and here equals to 1.000. Okay, so these are the staff readings. So you are supposed to enter these readings whatever you are taken in the observation table so the first of all distance will be nothing but your 10 meter here 20 and here it will be c so which is kept at a distance 30 so lower cross heading here it is 0 0.1 upper it is 0 0.2 here it is 0 0.45 here it is 0 0.65 for the staff held at c position at a distance of 30 meter it is 0 0.70 at the lower and at the upper it is 1.000 okay so likewise what we have done okay as seen in the previous lecture that same we are going to follow procedure here okay so now you are having the readings okay so now your aim is to find out the tachymetric constants k and c okay so now what we are going to do 
so we are having the formulas in order to calculate the horizontal distance that is directly we'll take it as right now d is equal to k into s plus c or d is equal to f by i into s plus into bracket f plus d okay this is the formula which you are having so now we will start doing the calculation okay so case 1 when the staff is at A distance D1 is 10 meters so we are going to calculate the staff intercept S1 so which is nothing but the difference between top minus bottom so top reading is 0.2 bottom reading is 0.1 so it corresponds to 0.1 meter okay so substitute those values in this equation one so let this be equation one okay general first of all the formula will become D D1 is equal to K K into just a minute S1 plus C so now D1 is 10 meters K as it is into 0 0.1 plus C so that equation becomes 10 is equal to 0 0.1 k plus c okay so similarly case 2 when the staff is at B that is D 2 is equals to 20 meters staff intercept S2 is equal to so 0 0.45 is the bottom cross reading and 0 0.65 is the uppermost cross reading okay so difference between that is nothing but S2 so this value comes out to be how much 0 0.2 meters 
okay so the equation will be d2 is equal to k into s s2 plus c so d2 is 20 meters k into 0 0.2 plus c so ultimately the value becomes equation 20 is equal to 0.2 k plus c so let this be equation number 3 This is equation number two. And final third equation will be case three when the Staff is at C. The distance D three is equals to thirty meter. Staff intercept is three. is equal to bottom cross reading is 0.7 top reading is 1 meter so top minus bottom 1.0 minus 0 0.70 will give me 0 0.30 meter okay so the equation will become d3 is equal to k into s plus C so D3 is 30 meters is equal to K into 0.3 plus C okay so ultimately the equation will become 30 is equal to 0.3 K plus C okay let this be equation number 4 so solving these equations simultaneously okay 2 3 3 4 2 4 okay so we solve uh, one one only equation okay and you can get an idea Solving equation two and three simultaneously This is equation number two. And this is equation number three. 
So just deduct it. So we'll get an equation like this. 20 minus 10 is equal to 0.2 k minus 0.1 k plus c minus c. Okay. So 10 is equal to 0.1 k and this plus c and minus c will get deducted. So therefore the value of k will be nothing but 100 ok and substituting this value in equation 1, 2 or 3 we we'll, we can calculate the value of c which will result in ok so suppose I am substituting equation 2 so 10 is equal to 0.1 into 100 plus C so the equation becomes 10 is equal to 10 plus C ok so cancelling this we will get the value of C is equal to 0 ok so that's what we are telling that Whenever the transit theodolite light is been fitted with an analytic lens, okay, so the additive constant becomes so that is nothing but C becomes zero, that is F plus D, okay, and correspondingly the multiplying constant that is F upon I R K is hundred, okay. So again you can solve it and check it whether all the values are coming out to be k is equal to 100 and c is equal to 0 so final conclusion will be conclusion the The multiplying the tachometric constant that is k is equal to 100 and c is equal to 0. Okay, so this should be your concluding remark. Okay.